We have with us on the talk back a furry friend and John Dinan from the Toledo Area Humane Society. We thank you very much for both your time. Oh, my pleasure. How are you doing? We have Melissa here today. This is Melissa. She uh, is a four-year-old domestic short hair cat, and she is available for adoption at the Toledo Area Humane Society. And this all is a part of Adopt a Shelter Cat Month, yeah. uh, which is June. Give us an idea of, of what it's about and why you decided to do this. Well, June is Adopt a Shelter Cat Month nationally, and really it's because June is a month that we start seeing a lot of kittens. Uh, cats, free-roaming cats mainly, are really seasonal breeders, and through the winter we don't see a lot of kittens, but boy, when the weather gets warm, they start coming in like crazy. <laughs> so to boost adoptions, uh, nationally, shelters get together and call June is Adopt Shelter Cat Month. Okay. So uh, we have a great deal going on this year at the Toledo Area Humane Society. We had a very generous donor gave us a, a big donation to subsidize cat adoptions. So right now, every cat adoption fee is $25 off. Nice. Okay. Uh, excuse me, every adult cat adoption Adult fee. cat, okay. Yeah, kittens are still full price, but a okay. uh, cat like Melissa here, she is one of our Lonely Hearts Club, which means she's been at the Humane Society over 60 days. In fact, this girl, hard to believe, has been there a year. Really? So she really needs to go home. I mean, she has a good home at the Humane Society, but she really needs to go to a loving home. But anybody who's been there over 60 days normally would be a $50 adoption fee with this uh, subsidy, $25. Nice. Okay. And the regular adult cats, which are usually $100, now $75. So for $75 or $25, you can get a cat that's spayed and neutered, vaccinated, microchipped, checked by a vet, and ready to go. You do can't you, beat that. Do you feel like you have to be a little bit more creative these days when everybody's tight on money and, and you still have your job to do and trying to find good homes for the animals? Yeah, adoptions are down a little bit and it's because of the economy. I mean, uh, a lot of people consider a cat or a dog a luxury. Not me, they're an essential in my <laughs> life. But, you know, if it's between paying for groceries and having a pet, people need to make decisions. So times are a little tough. So we're getting creative to find homes for dogs and cats, but we're, we're doing all right. We're keeping our heads above water. Yeah, how is the overpopulation with cats? Is that still on the rise? Uh, uh, Toledo still has a big problem with an overpopulation of cats. Um, our friends at Humane Ohio have been doing a trap neuter release program in the 43609 zip code and have done over 1,200 cats. So there are a Jeez, lot of cats man. running loose in Toledo. And you'd say the 1,200, is that cats that are in homes or just running the streets? Those are cats that they have trapped running loose in the streets, wow. uh, spayed or neutered, and then returned. And the idea is to establish a population of non-breeding cats, and mm -hmm. eventually it'll shrink down to nothing. But you know, if people treated dogs the way they treat cats, it would be on the front page of the paper and run a lead story on your show every night if there were a thousand dogs running loose in 43609. But uh, people treat cats differently. The owners aren't as responsible. There's no cat control in Lucas County. There is a dog warden. There's no sure. cat warden. Right. There is a Toledo cat ordinance, but it's not enforced. So Should, should, uh, there, should there be a warden? Over. Should it be enforced more? What do you think? Uh, I think there needs to be a comprehensive animal control strategy for Lucas County. I think we need to look at cats as well as dogs. And, and dogs are looked at more because of the public safety mm -hmm. uh, part of it, but the animal welfare part is important too. And these free-roaming cats don't have a great life. So. Uh, the ones that end up at the Humane Society and we're able to rehabilitate and adopt out are the lucky ones, and it's tough living on the street for a cat. I bet it is. Uh, should they call, visit, find you on the web? What's the best way to get about it? All of our adoptable animals are on our website, ToledoAreaHumaneSociety.org, so you can check them out. If you see one you like, come in and get it, because they come and go really quickly. And we're open every day except for Monday from 10 to 6, and come on out and meet your new best friend. All right, John and Melissa, thank you very much for your time. We'll see if we can find you a home. In the I hope Melissa there. will go home as soon as this airs. This is going to air tonight. Someone come in tomorrow morning and take her home for the low adoption fee of $25. Right, let's make that happen, John. Thanks for your time, and that's right. your talk back.